everyone, my name is Tana. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here, a very warm welcome and if you are not, welcome back. Today I have a balanced focused flow for you. It will be quite a strong, fiery intermediate practice. So you won't be needing any props for this practice, you'll just need yourself and a mat and maybe a bit of a playful attitude. So when you're ready, come onto your mat. We'll start at the back of our mat. Standing upright in Tadasana. So bring your feet in a parallel line, palms facing forwards. Find a bit of length through your spine, reaching up through the top of your head. And just close down the eyes here, or soften the gaze. And we'll just take a few grounding breaths to root into our body and to connect to our breath. So breathing in and out through the nose and feeling the subtle expansion of our chest as we breathe in and as we exhale just allowing ourselves to ground into the present moment and take three more rounds just like this gently blink the eyes open inhale reach the arms all the way up to the sky high mountain exhale swan dive over your legs bow your head to the earth bend through your knees a lot and just allow your chest to hang over your thighs placing our right hand to the floor peel the left arm to the sky straightening out through our left leg keeping that right leg bent and getting a nice deep stretch here through the back of your leg Beautiful, lower the left hand to the floor, other side, inhale, right arm reaches up to the sky, straightening out through our right leg, reach up through the right fingers as you breathe in, and exhale, both hands to the floor, keeping a nice bend through our knees here, inhale, halfway lift, palms to the shins, and exhale, fold forwards, bow your head down to the earth. One more inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, fold forwards. Breathing in, look forwards. And start to walk forwards into a plank pose. So taking it nice and slow here to begin. Bringing your shoulders over your wrists and drawing your heels back. Push away from the earth and round through your upper back a bit. Pull your navel into your spine. Finding that core connection, that subtle activation. And breathe fully into the whole body here. Really nice. We'll come into hanging cobra, melt your hips to your wrists, pull the heart through in between the shoulders, nice and slow and controlled. Keep your back body turned on and pull the shoulders down and away from your ears. Inhale. And as we exhale, bend through your knees, arch the spine, come into a downward facing dog, so gliding all the way back. And take full breaths here. You're welcome to pedal out through the feet or maybe wiggle the hips. Finding any movements to just open up through the backs of the legs, the spine, the shoulders. Okay, now find stillness in your dog, root down into your palms. Inhale, lift your heels off the floor, slowly come forwards into a plank position. Root into the earth, breathe in. 
And then as you breathe out, come onto the edge of your right foot, come into a side plank pose, reach the left hand to the sky, start to lift your bottom hip up as high as you can as you reach up through the left arm. Two breaths here. Beautiful, left hand lowers to the floor, reach the right hand to the sky, other side. And push into the left hand, nice and stable through this left shoulder. Two rounds of breath. Exhale, plank pose, both hands to the earth. Nice and slowly rock forwards, shoulders over your wrists. Lower down into a chaturanga, nice and controlled. Inhale, up dog, peel the heart through from between the shoulders. And exhale, downward facing dog. On your next breath in, lift your heels. Exhale, plank pose. Slowly rock forwards, shoulders over your wrists. Lower down, chaturanga, squeeze the elbows into the midline. Inhale, up dog, pull the shoulders down and back. And exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, just one more round like that. Breathe in, lift your heels. Come forwards into your plank. Rock forwards on the balls of your feet. Chaturanga, lower down. Inhale, up dog, stretch the front body open. And exhale, downward facing dog. Pull your chest to your thighs, engage your quadricep muscles. On your next breath in, send the right leg into the air, three-legged dog. And then flare your hip open, bend through your knee. And we'll start to create circles through this knee, so almost like we're painting the ceiling with our knee. Staying grounded through our left foot, opening up here through your hip flexors, through the inner thigh. Just take two breaths here. Okay, beautiful. Straighten out through your right leg, and then come forwards into a high lunge. Root the right foot into the earth, reach the arms up. Inhale, finding length. And on your exhale, hands together at the chest, come forwards into a warrior three with our hands together. So kick back into your left leg. Elevate the chest a bit. Breathe in. And breathing out, high lunge, land the foot to the earth, reach the arms up. Find length through your waistline. And then take a vertical twist to your right side, reach the right arm behind you, left arm in front of you. Slowly you will begin to tip back, right hand to your left thigh, reach the left arm up and over, breathing fully into the left side. On your exhale, warrior two, facing the side of your mat. Ground into your shape, lift up through your crown. Inhale, reverse your warrior, peel the right arm to the sky, reach up through the right fingers. And exhale, half moon pose. Come onto that right foot. You can place your right fingers to the floor if you need a bit of support. Peel the left hand to the sky and start to kick back into your left leg. Don't worry if you wobble here a little bit, like I am, that's totally cool. <laughs> Just building our balance and building our proprioception. One more breath. You might start to play with lifting your right fingers off the floor, or maybe not. Warrior two, land that left foot to the earth. Sink into your feet. And inhale, reverse your warrior again, extend out through the right fingers. On your exhale, wide-legged forward fold, spin the toes in and the heels out. Ground into the edges of your feet and bow your head to the earth. 
Hands beneath your shoulders, inhale, halfway lift, lift the chest. And exhale, fold forwards, bow the head to the earth. Beautiful, one more time, inhale. And exhale. Breathing in, lift the chest. Breathing out, low lunge at the back of your mat. Spin over to the back, frame off the left foot. And then draw your hands together at the chest, at the heart space. Warrior three, we'll come forwards, taking flight on our left leg. Elevating that back leg. Pull your navel into your spine. And maybe crash into a plant here if you have one at home. <laughs> One-legged mountain pose. Pull the right knee into your chest. Nice and slow here. Okay, lovely. We'll find a twist now. So reach the right arm behind you, left hand to your right thigh. Can you energize and straighten out your supporting left leg as much as you can? This will help you stabilize. So lifting that left kneecap up. If it's available to you, you can play with a bind here, taking the edge of your right foot with your left hand and playing with kicking into that hand. Take a breath, one more round. Okay, lovely, start to let go of your thigh or your foot, fold forwards over your legs, bow your head to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. And on your exhale, standing splits and the right leg into the air. You can keep your fingers to the floor here. If you wanna play and really challenge your balance today, you're welcome to draw the hands together at the heart space and maybe start to play with finding that balance. Keep rooting into your left foot as much as you can. One more breath. Beautiful. Land that right foot to the earth, low lunge. Inhale, pull the heart forwards in between the shoulders. And as we exhale, find a skandasana side lunge at the front of your mat, hands together at the chest. Skandasana to the back of your mat, keep that right leg straight, flex through the right foot. Low lunge, come all the way forwards, face the front, plug into your hands and we'll take it back into a plank pose. You can take an optional vinyasa here, rocking forwards, chaturanga lowering halfway down. Inhale, up dog, peel the chest open, and exhale, downward facing dog. On your next breath in, left leg rises, three-legged dog. Flare your hip open, heel to your bottom. And start to create those circles through your left knee as if you're painting the ceiling with your knee. Taking two breaths here, breathing into the left side of your hip. And then straighten out through your left leg and find a high lunge. Land the foot in between your hands. Inhale, reach the arms up. Take a full breath here. Exhale, hands together at the chest. Warrior three, come forwards onto your left leg. Lift the chest, keep the back body really nice and turned on. Flex through that back right foot. High lunge, land the right foot to the earth. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, vertical twist to your left side. Peel the left arm behind you, right arm in front of you. Okay, let's start to tip back. Left hand to your back thigh. Reach the right hand all the way up to the sky. Breathe into the right low ribs. Beautiful. Warrior two, take it to the side. Press into the edge of your right foot, long through the spine. Inhale, reverse your warrior, reach up through the left fingers. 
And as you exhale, half moon pose, shift slowly onto your left leg. Keep your left fingers just beneath the left shoulder, or you might play with lifting those left fingers off the floor. And try to stack your hips so you're drawing that right hip up and back. Warrior two, land the right foot to the earth, sink into your feet, inhale, reverse your warrior, and exhale, wide legged forward fold, Prasarita Padatadasana, feet parallel, bow your head to the earth, and feel that nice stretch through the abductors, the inner thighs, inhale, halfway lift, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward. One more, inhale. And exhale. Breathing in, lift the heart space. Spin to the back of your mat, low lunge. Frame off the right foot. And then straight away, draw the hands together at the chest. And we'll come forwards into a warrior three. Take your time as you lift your back leg off the floor. Beautiful one-legged mountain pose. Nice and slowly curl the left knee into your heart space. We'll find that twist now, so whatever variation you had on the other side, play with the twist, don't take it too seriously. Just try to have fun. And if you wobble and fall, just come back to it. Maybe guiding your right hand towards the edge of your left foot and playing with straightening out through the leg. So that straight leg just comes with time as you get more mobility through your hamstrings and the backs of your legs. One breath. Lovely, slowly land that left foot to the earth, fold forwards, bow your chest to your thighs. Inhale, halfway lift, lift the chest. And exhale, fold forwards. Find a standing split, send the left leg into the air now. Try to make sure that your left hip is not flaring open to the side, but facing down to the floor. And if you did so on the other side, you might play with drawing your hands together at the chest. Just finding a bit of a different variation here. Bit more challenging. Pull your navel in, one more breath. Low lunge, down the left foot to the earth. Inhale, broaden through the collarbones. And as you exhale, side lunge at the front of your mat, Skandasana, flex through the right foot. Skandasana to the back of your mat, nice and low into the inner thigh, the groin muscles. Low lunge at the front of your mat. Come all the way forwards. Root down into your palms and we'll take it back into a plank pose. Take an optional vinyasa here. Chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Ground into your palms, ground into your feet. Make sure that the toes, the fingers are spread wide, really connected into the earth. And then on your next breath in, right leg rises, three-legged dog. Keep this leg straight here. And then start to lift your back left heel off of the floor. Curl your knee towards your nose, rounding through the upper back. Inhale, three-legged dog. Take it back. Exhale, high lunge, come through. Reach the arms up. Warrior three, hands together at the chest. Come forwards onto your right leg. Breathing in, elevating the heart space forwards and up. Breathing out, one-legged mountain pose. Pull that left knee towards your heart space here. Okay. Same thing here, so we're going to find that bind if you had it on the other side, or just taking your right hand towards the left thigh. Mm. 
One more breath. Okay, beautiful. Slowly landing that left foot to the floor. We'll fold forwards, bowing your chest down to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold forwards. Find a standing split, send the left leg into the air. Maybe keeping the fingers to the floor, or maybe starting to, to hover the hands, or maybe drawing the hands together at the heart space. One more breath. Beautiful, low lunge. Land the left foot to the earth, ground into your palms, and then find a three-legged dog, sending the right leg all the way up into the air. Flare the hip open, bending through your knee, and nice and slowly with control, binding a wild thing, dropping the foot over, Pushing the heart and the hips to the sky. Keep the back body turned on, squeezing your glutes. Take a breath here, breathing into the heart space. Lovely. Start to lower your hips down first. Come back into a plank position. Shoulders over your wrists. Chaturanga, rock forwards, lower halfway down. Inhale, up dog, nice and slow. And exhale, downward facing dog. Slipping over your feet, reaching up through the outer hips. On the next breath in, left leg rises, three-legged dog. Keeping that leg straight, start to lift your right back heel off of the floor and then curl your knee in towards your nose, hollowing out through the armpits. Inhale, three-legged dog, take it back. And exhale, high crescent lunge. Lengthen out of your waistline, relax the muscles in your neck. Warrior three, come forwards onto your left leg. You know where we're going now. Thumbs into the breastplate. One-legged mountain pose, taking your time, pull the right knee into your chest. Find your vertical twist here. And if you wobble and come out of it, just try to come back into it. Be patient with yourself. I find it's really helpful to invite a playful energy into the body when we're really challenged so that we don't take it too seriously and get disappointed in ourselves. But just understanding and accepting that it's just part of the process to fall and to not be there right away. Okay, nice. Slowly lower that foot to the floor, folding forwards. Inhale, halfway lift, lift the chest. And exhale, fold forwards. Find a standing split, send the right leg into the air. Lift the left kneecap up. Lower the hands to the floor, low lunge, softly land the right foot to the earth. And then we'll come into a three-legged dog, sending the left leg all the way up. And flaring that hip open once you're ready. Then taking your time to find your wild thing. Push into both of your feet, reach up through the left hand, breathe into the heart. Lower your hips down, come all the way back into a plank pose. And then drop your knees towards the floor, keeping your spine straight here. We'll lower down into a supported chaturanga, coming all the way to the earth. Inhale, cobra, and lift your chest. And exhale, lower down. So nice. One more. Breathe in, lift the heart. And breathe out lower. 
Take a child's pose, draw your bottom towards your heels, reach the arms out in front of you, soften the forehead to the floor. And we'll take three full breaths here. Exhale, start to lift your gaze and then slowly make your way all the way up to find a kneeling position. And once you're here, you can slide your legs over to the right side and we'll find a cross-legged seat now. So placing the right foot in front of the left and sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist to your right side, left hand to right thigh. And exhale, unwind, coming back to centre. Place the left foot in front of you. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, over to the other side. And find length through your twist, so really reaching up through the top of your head. And soft through the face. And gently unwind, bringing yourself back to the middle. To close off, we will place the left hand to the heart space and your right hand to your lower belly. And we'll take two deep breaths here, breathing in through the nose and then just sighing it out through the mouth. So starting now, breathe in, nice full breath. And exhale, sigh. One more, inhale, exhale. Thank you so much, yogis, for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoy this practice. If you did enjoy, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. It really supports me and means that I can continue making these free videos for you guys. Um, and it also means that you'll know, you'll be notified every time there's a new flow. So I hope you have a beautiful day and as always if you have any questions or comments or just requests please let me know in the description box below and I will get back to you. Have a beautiful day.